Okay, in this video, I'm going to continue on with my tutorial series on vector calculus for electromagnetism. This is video number 22, and I'm going to discuss quotient rule number 1. I'd like to draw your attention to my website, universityphysicstutorials.com. So the previous videos to this are 14 through 21, where I discussed the product rules. And I suppose you don't need to have done the product rules to understand the quotient rules, but the product rules are probably more important for electromagnetism. So this one, what we're going to do, is we're going to take the gradient of a scalar, a scalar function. The scalar function will be the quotient of two scalars, f and g. It's important to know that they were getting the gradient of a scalar function, which will give us back a vector field. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to take the gradient of f over g. We're going to apply the normal, the normal quotient rule here. But notice, though, that for we're going, uh, we're going from a scalar to a vector field. So we need to involve the components i, j, and k. So when, it, when we differentiate with respect to x, we, we put that in the i direction, with respect to y in the j hat direction, and with respect to j, z in the k hat direction. Excuse me, and I'm actually noticing a small typo. There, in the k hat direction. Very straightforward. So uh, that's just an old uh, quotient rule, um, okay? Very straightforward. Then I'm going to factorize, in, factorize for g and for f. Okay, because it, we have, let's we'll say, g del f del x in the i hat direction, g del f del y in the j hat direction, and g del f del z in the k hat direction, all divided by g squared. So I'm just going to collect the terms with g pre-multiplied and collect the terms with f pre-multiplied. But if you look closely, in actual fact, what we have here is the gradient of each of our functions. So we've put that all together. We find that the, the gradient of two scalars, uh, the quotient of two scalars, f and g, is in actual fact g times the, uh, the gradient of f, minus f times the gradient of g, divided by g squared. And that is quotient rule number one. Thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends, subscribe to my channel, and please visit universityphysicsorials.com.